Today on Forbes, why top nuclear experts and ex-CIA brass joined a high school grad's tiny fusion startup. Since the first hydrogen bomb tests in the 1950s, scientists have struggled to develop a practical fusion energy source, one that would mimic the reactions that power the sun, for safe use here on Earth. The promise is world-changing, an infinite abundance of energy, vastly more powerful than fossil fuels, without the associated carbon pollution. Now, with the help of one of Iran's top nuclear scientists, a small team of former Pentagon and CIA officials are taking on that goal. Realistically, it's far off. Scientific consensus is that viable commercial fusion is at least a decade away, maybe two. But in the meantime, the company, called Fuse, has more immediate-term plans, using fusion technology to develop radiation testing facilities that simulate the effects of nuclear weapons on machinery. Fuse hopes to generate revenue from government contracts that can support its long-term R&D efforts, a business model that has excited Silicon Valley investors like Buckley Ventures and serial entrepreneur Sky Dayton enough to pour more than $20 million into the company. Helming the unlikely team of military officials and scientists is J.C. Batesh, a high school graduate who immigrated from Lebanon to North America in 2016 with an eye towards solving one of the world's hardest problems. He has sold investors and employees on the idea that private industry can do for commercial fusion what it did for spaceflight, accelerate progress by solving the $24 billion National Nuclear Security Administration's, or NNSA's, problems, along the way to developing a viable fusion reactor. The 24-year-old Batesh told Forbes, quote, Fuse wants to become to the NNSA what SpaceX is to NASA. To some, it all seems a bit pie in the sky. Bjorn Hegelich, a fusion professor at the University of Texas at Austin, referring to the NASA program that put the first humans on the moon, said, quote, A fusion power plant will require something akin to the Apollo program. It's not going to be something that one startup will do. And then there's Batesh himself, who, without a background in nuclear science or even a college education, is taking on such a daunting challenge with a fraction of the money funding his rivals. And yet, investors are backing him. Fuse is currently in talks to raise another $20 million investment for a Series A funding round. After signing agreements with nuclear labs Sandia and Los Alamos National Laboratories, according to a pitch deck for the funding round, the company is expected to generate $2 million in revenue this year. Batesh declined to discuss the nature of the agreements. A spokesperson for Sandia and Los Alamos Labs declined to comment. Josh Buckley, whose eponymous venture firm invested in Fuse, told Forbes, quote, The best founders just have this type of inevitability to them, and I just consistently started seeing JC over a period of time go through multiple brick walls. Batesh's timing is spot on. Following a fusion breakthrough at Lawrence Livermore last year, the Biden administration announced recently it was spending $180 million to spur development of fusion energy, allocating an additional $46 million to public-private partnerships with multiple fusion energy companies. Among those partnering with the government is Denver-based Commonwealth Fusion Systems, which was spun out from MIT and has raised more than $2 billion from investors like George Soros and Bill Gates. Another is Seattle-based Zap Energy, also backed by Gates, and energy giants Shell and Chevron, which have provided the company more than $200 million. Both companies are working towards commercially produced fusion energy. OpenAI's Sam Altman is another player in the space, personally investing $375 million in Helion, which believes it can deploy a workable fusion power plant by 2028. Helion signed an energy deal with Microsoft last year. It's already a wildly competitive space, but Fuse's backers are bullish on Batash's idea to scale fusion technology alongside its radiation testing business. Sean McKay, a U.S. Air Force veteran and retired colonel who oversaw foreign military sales and now leads Fuse's government business, said that Batash, quote, is surprisingly strategic in his thought process and he's built an amazing culture. That's why I'm taking a chance. For full coverage, check out David Jean's piece on Forbes.com. This is Kieran Meadows from Forbes. Thanks for tuning in.